get us in. And, uh, did a nice job settling over the middle a couple of times, but um, Brian's got tremendous hands, and uh, it's great to get him involved today. Thanks, Kirk. If you had a 31-14 win today, you wouldn't have given it that if you could take it. But does it mean more to you to have done it this way, this group, lightly regarded, unrecruited, everybody doubted you, halftime, people on the message boards and all that stuff are saying, hey, you know, why they even show up? And then you guys come back and just lights out the second half and answer all your critics. It's hard to say because it was far from perfect, but what I'm so proud of is the fact that we showed character. We kept battling, we never gave up. And I think it shows how far this program has come. It's a great way to end it. What was the mood in the locker room at halftime? Well, we felt like uh, a couple of big plays, really three plays is, is all that it was. It would have been 0-0. So we knew offensively we needed to get it going, and we knew defensively they were going to be able to keep us in it. So fortunately, we got back into the second half and got going. Thanks for saving that chapter you brought us. Right. It's a great way to end that book. It's a great way. Right. Kirk, how did it feel to pull out the win and Take care of business at the end. Special way to end my career and our seniors for them to go out this way is, is awesome. I think it says a lot about our program and how far we've come. Georgia's a very, very good football team. And, uh, there's a lot of BCS games where teams will not play an opponent like Georgia. And, uh, they played very well today. Did you say anything to Andrew after the game? I talked to Coach Warner. I, I saw Andrew just uh, he congratulated me, and it was a very special, special moment. One year, I mean, where would you rank this win? I mean, in games you played at Michigan State. Uh, it's hard to compare different wins. Obviously, this one's very special. It's a great way to go out. It's hard to pick one over the other. But this is this is uh, right up there. How did Michigan State change you as a person and as a player? Well, it challenged me for five years. It demanded a lot from me, and I gave everything I could to this university. Uh, I feel very good about the effort I've given for five years and what I've been able to, to be a part of. What kind of thumbprint did you leave? Because D'Antonio said this class left a thumbprint. Individually, I mean, what kind of thumbprint did you leave at Michigan State? Uh, I don't need to talk about what we've done. I think that what we've done speaks for itself. I think that you guys, that's why you get what you get, is, is to talk about those things and discuss them. And we, we've done plenty. Thank you very much.